Hello nerds, today is Sunday, March the 17th, 2019, and that means it's time for the 76th game of the Meditation Games. Today's game was made by Jonathan Elian Rousseau? Rousseau? I'm not sure how you pronounce it, I'm afraid. It's French, I should probably know how to pronounce it, but I don't, so, sorry. He's left quite a large blurb for us, so I'll read it out for you now. Now, come on, we've all watched these movies and read the books. I sure have. You know, those stories where, like, someone is lonely, withdrawn, or cut off from a community. The new kid in school, sitting on their own. The misunderstood one, the nerdy guy, the awkward co-worker, and so on. We'd watch those movies where the hero or a group of friends or someone, anyone, would invite that person in the group, revealing them to be a great friend, a lovable one, a great addition to the team, sometimes the best character of the show. Everyone loves these movies. So why is it that no one actually applies these principles in real life? Think about it, you can change a person's life just by letting them into yours. As a nerdy and very misunderstood guy in school who was often on his own, I can definitely relate to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I agree wholeheartedly. I think uh, quiet people are given enough chance to be the noisy bastards that they can really be, like me. <laughs> actually, I'm probably a bad example because... Uh, yeah, there are quite important people out there who do stay quiet, just nice. Let's have a look anyway. Okie dokie. Uh, can I just, like, set the colour of my... Pe ah! Right. I could change my shoes. I can wear a dress. Cool. Uh... Well, let's go for that, because that's quite fetching. Ah. And... Oh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, there we go. I assume that would be hair. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, is that... I don't know if that's hair in a beard or have you have you, I'm really not sure. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, that's quite cute. Let's go with that one. Yeah, why not? And let's say no beard. Glasses. Yes. This is all of the yes. Whoops. Yes. 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 Please. Ah, right. I'm not the person I made. Try and interact with people and just realise they're not gonna talk because one of the rules of the meditation games is <laughs> what the? <laughs> uh, I see that's a statue and not a people. How's it going? Have one of them. <laughs> uh, inside here. I don't want people saying. Go on. Why have I got this thing? Why have I got two of these things? Free! Amazing. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> I just got what that is. These are uncomfortable people. And I'm quite literally picking them up. I'm throwing them into circumstances with people. Uh, I wish I could read what these signs are saying. Yay! I've created another uh, another friend. So you're a, a grey star. Grey star! Uh... Do I match up with the colour? Do I match up with the shape? Well, 
Oh, you're both stars. Uh, let's see what happens here. Oh, he's moving. That seems good. Hey! I've created a new friend. For someone. Uh... I just realised that these are not animated at all. These are literally... Well, I say not animated. Like, there's no... Uh, these are all individual sprites. Like, a single sprite. Uh, that's created from, like, that customizer I think I had at the beginning. And they're literally just flipping around. Um, rotating left and right. Skewing, stretching. It's pretty cool. Uh, I saw a square somewhere. Where did I see square? Here. Let's see if I can match you up. Yay! This is this is me. Yay! I've blossomed into a friend. Thank you, hero. <laughs> that was adorable. Uh, I'm gonna play again just to see if I can figure out what actually makes the thing pop. Um, that doesn't really matter. There we go. Ah, I'm a different person this time. And all the people are different, and the symbols are different. Okay, so uh, people seem to be in the same position, uh, but everything else is randomised. So, red squiggle does not comply with a yellow triangle. What happens if... Oh, it looks like it's going well, actually. I will come back. Hmm. Okay, is there anything else I can pair them up with to check this? Doesn't look like that's working. Oh! Okay, let's just try uh, mixing up with the colour. I can't see any that's got the same shape as this one character. So it's going to have to be colour. Ah, oh, who was it? Was it you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, card seems to work. Does shape work? Uh, oh, this is the same shape. So, two pinkies there. Let's try that. That should work. Yep. Seems to be colour or perhaps shape. Uh, was there a star anywhere? Did I see a star? Yes. Blue star and grey star. Oh! Making friends? Yes. Awesome. Let's see if I can match anyone with colour and shape. Probably not. Blue squiggle. No, we didn't have any other squiggles. So, just need to settle for someone who is blue. Uh, or the squiggle from the people I've just created. Uh, there you go. Friend group. Actually, do non-interested people react to having something drop by them? Yeah, they do. Okay. Back to blue. There you go. Have a chat. Make friends. Yay! Ah, my little egg is born. Ah, interesting. I have the same appearance again. Uh, yellow star... Okay, but everything else seems to be random. So I seem to be based um, directly on the character that I make. So that's quite interesting. Uh, so what was that? A uh, grey triangle. I can't remember if I tested it by shape as well as colour. Or separate from colour. I will quickly do that. Uh, green squiggle. We don't get many squiggles. 
Right, your colour. So you work. And you were triangle. And uh, you were triangle. So let's match you guys up. Make friend. Ooh. Yep. Aw. Yay. And... Blue Squiggle. Uh, Squiggle is here. Ooh, make friends. Make friends. You both Squiggle. Ah, uh, maybe because uh, I think that's the one who I rescued. Maybe they can't create a new one. Uh, any of squiggle or blue? Star, uh, dot, dun, 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 dun. two blues there. Cool, let's do that. Bam! Shouldn't take long. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm very satisfied there. There we go. So that was today's game. Um, the main thing that I was really impressed with was the uh, pixel graphics for the characters and how good that character customizer was for what would have been made in, I imagine, a very short time frame. That was quite impressive, actually. Well done. I didn't go for all the characters, but you got to see what kind of variety there was just in all of the NPCs that were sort of kicking around. Um, yeah, genuinely impressed. That's a really, really good job. Well done. I loved being the hero that ran around and picked up these recluses and just put them with friends. <laughs> that was kind of cute. I liked that. Word of advice to anyone. I don't recommend picking people up like that, but if it works, it works. Do what you need to. So, Elian is primarily a pixel artist. Most of his work is pixels, and his portfolio looks absolutely fantastic. There's some gorgeous pixel art in there. His Twitter page is just covered in it. And the main project that he seems to be working on, in regards for pixel arting at least, is one that I'm stunned I've never heard of. It's called Rivals of Aether. It looks amazing. Right, it's basically Smash Brothers, but pixels and not Nintendo. Uh, the story behind it is a guy named Dan Faunus made a Super Smash Brothers D make uh, and gave it like a Game Boy aesthetic, but it looks like it was actually a pretty good game. And he just thought, fuck it, I'll make my own. <laughs> I've seen quite a few games do stuff like that. Like they've made a D make or a homage or a mod. I mean, League of Legends uh, came off the back of a Defense of the Ancient, uh, a Warcraft 3 mod. So it's surprising, I wouldn't say how often it happens, but how often a project like that can do really, really well. And this game looks amazing. I've not played it yet, sadly, but it's available on the Xbox. You can damn well be sure I'm getting that. And it looks great. The graphics are absolutely gorgeous. The fighting looks incredibly fluid. Well, you can see you know, they're playing videos above me. And they've recently just added Shovel Knight as a playable fighter. I really like Shovel Knight, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm honestly annoyed myself for not knowing about this sooner, but really glad I found it. I'm totally picking this up. I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll leave a link below to Elian's Twitter, to his portfolio, and also a link to the Rivals of Aether website. It's got Twitter links, it's got store links, it's got videos, it's got all sorts. Check it out, it's awesome. So a huge thank you to Elian for making today's game, and thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.